All right. Good morning. I'm Jill Lindstrom. This class is Strength and Stretch. It goes for 30 minutes. Glad to have you here. All right, let's start with our ball. We're going to swing it, bring it back. Swing it and back and swing it. Good. All right. You have a small window right after class to get outside if you need to because it is going to be a scorcher today, I think. I know it's humid. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now bring that ball into one hand. Good. Kick those legs. We're going to do opposites. We're going to switch the ball in the middle. You ready? You're like, no. So out, out, out. Take a look. You should be opposite hand, opposite leg. We'll do it for a little bit until you get it. Good. Working on our ball handling skills because we're getting closer and closer to opening up that beautiful gym. Got that half court basketball court in it. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Plant those feet right here. We're going to go down and shoot it. Squat and shoot. Squat. Shoot. Squat. Shoot. So I didn't get a lot of feedback yesterday on the push-ups. But the one person I did said they loved it, so guess what? We're going to do it. Good. We'll do 10 until the 10th of June, and then we'll add on. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. Here it is. Now we're going to pass it, pass it, tap it, pass it. Lift a heel if you like. Makes it a little more dancey, not so much basketball. But if you'd rather be basketball, here we are it out. Pass that paw. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Right here. Marching feet. Take that ball. Ball handling skills right here. We're getting ready for that basketball court. I actually got to see it the other day. It is Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, just grabbing that ball, marching to his feet. Are you warming up? I am. Four, three, two, here we go. Let's shoot it out. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Now pass it, pass it, pass it. Good. Remember, you do what works for you. If reaching too far isn't good, don't do that. Do what works for you. Four more. Three. Two. Last one right here. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. All right, last ball handling skill. Take that ball around the belly. Good. You ever seen the Globetrotters do this? They do all kinds of fun things, don't they? We're just going to do this. Ooh, march it out. Keep going. Keep going. March it around. Don't worry, I'm not falling off. Ugh. Go the other way. You know, normally I'd say, ah, too bad, but I want to use it later. There we go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now put that ball somewhere close by because we'll use it again. And um, I'm going to grab one weight, maybe. It was stuck. All right, so I'm going to grab one weight. If you have lighter weights, you might want to grab two and put them in one hand. So we're close to the chair. We have that weight on the outside. We're going to take that step back with a bicep curl. Now, the step back is a balance component. Speaking of balance, we're working on balance today in yoga for about 20 minutes. Good, bicep curl, bicep curl, good. So the step back is that balance piece. So if you'd rather, you could just step back and just stay static. Let's do four more, three, two. 
And last one, good. Now keep that leg back there. The, the chair is close by. Palm comes in, we're gonna add a knee bend. Knee bend, lift. Knee bend, lift. Good, your lift doesn't have to be high. Your lift could be to the front. You do what works best for you. Some of us can't do over the shoulder anymore, right? Four more. Three, keep that front knee from going over those toes. Two, last one. Good, now bring that elbow back. We're gonna step forward, kick it back. Step back, kick it back. Now notice I'm not lunging this time. I'm just stepping back, stepping forward. Good, trying to move that arm to the back using my muscle, not swinging it. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Now, whether you have one weights or two, we're gonna bring them right here to the center, lift it up. Good. So you could do two hands here, one weight in each hand. Good, we're gonna tap it forward, triceps. Triceps. Good, I know we have to do the other side. Don't worry, we'll get there. Good. Let's slowly walk it to that other side. I'm just being very careful. If you don't feel stable, don't do the weights and walk. Do what feels right. Do what feels safe. Four more. Three. Two, and last one, good. All right, so we're here back by the chair. We're gonna take that back leg and we're gonna lunge it back with a bicep curl. Good, just a normal bicep curl here. If you don't wanna do the leg, you hold it back. You, you're still in that split stance, right? But you don't have to do the movement. You got it. Four more, and three, and two. Last one, now hold it back there, bring that weight so it's facing your body, and we bend and lift. Then squeeze the buttocks if you can when you come up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Let's do four more, and three, and two, and last one. Good, now step it forward, elbow comes back. We kick it back, oops, wait, kick it back and bring it in. Either way is fine, I like that better. Don't swing it. Good, so notice I am not lunging now, I'm just stepping the leg back, challenging my balance. <laughs> what was in that Diet Coke I drank today? Holy cow. All right, back we go. All right. I have a love affair with McDonald's Diet Coke. I don't know. I take my sanitary wipes and I wipe it down every time so I know that I've wiped off any germs. All right, let's do two more. And last one, good. All right, bring those legs right to the center. Weight is in the middle, or there's two weights. You choose, because I, I can't do the two, it's too heavy. So punch it side, punch it side. Good, for those of you that have that range of motion that can go a little bit up, let's go a little bit up. Reach it, reach it. Work in those tummies here. Good, if it makes you dizzy to turn your head, then look forward. Four more. Three. Two. And last one, good. All right, so one weight or two, you choose. Um, we're gonna take a little step in a row. Tap in a row, tap in a row, row it. Working the middle of the tummy. Can you feel it when you row? You're making that tummy work? Good. Feet are the balance component. You don't have to do the feet. Well, surely you don't have to do any of this, but I hope you're doing some of it. That twist just that little bit, work that tummy. Four more. And three. And two. And last one. Good. Let's go ahead and put that 
away. And I'm going to turn my chair, but if you wanted to, you could do your push-ups, because we're going to do 10 push-ups. We could do our push-ups here, so if you, if you have a wider chair, you could be here. I'm going to go ahead and do my here. So I'm going to turn my chair. Um, the other option is, is, is I don't have a good wall here where I can demonstrate this. You could do these push-ups on your wall, okay? So do a push-up on the wall. So options with the feet could be right in here. Bottom is stuck out. Could be way back here. Here we go. There's 10. 9. 8. My chair's moving. 7. 6. 5. Modify for you. Pull those feet forward if you need to. 3. 2. And last one. So if you find your chair doesn't work for you, find a wall. A wall is a great place to do those. All right, let's go ahead and have a seat. Good. All right. Come to the forward part of your chair. We're just going to do some taps here. Oh boy, right? Great. All right, up we go. Lift, tap, lift, tap. And not standing all the way up. If this hurts your knees, you don't have to do it. You could do elephants if you know what those are. Lift. An elephant is you're pretending there's an elephant and you try to stand, but you can't. Lift taps. I'm actually sitting. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. Good, now let's go to the back. Lift here. Option, easier right here. Lift tap, lift tap. Good. Working those tummies. Remember yesterday I said we had to work tummies a little bit more because I forgot to do some tummy work yesterday, or just I didn't do it. Not that I forgot, because I remembered. All right, right here, little flatty hops. Lift from the belly. Lift from the belly. Four, three, two, last one. Lift here. Lift here. Good. Four. Are you feeling those tummies? Two. And last one. Good. Let's plant those feet. Sit up nice and tall. Grab your strap. Good. All right, so we're going to put that strap right underneath both feet. Good. Bring it so that you're holding it just with one hand. Scoot back a little bit. Lift those feet up. Good. Now we're going to pull back open. Pull back open. Pull back. Keep your shoulder down. Slide that elbow right to the back. Pull those legs out. Open, open, good. If this is too much, you could hold one strap and do the outside, or just hold one strap and do the inside strap. Just one strap is my point, good. Four more, three, two, hold it out there, little pulses. Pulse the arm, pulse the legs. It feels a little spastic, but we're working those fast twitch muscles in the arms and legs. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, let's do the other side. Sitting up nice and tall. Good. Here you go. Sorry. Pull. It was in the wrong spot. Pull. Open those legs. Pull. You should feel it on the outside. You should maybe even feel it a little bit in the back. Elbow comes directly back. It slides along. Try to watch the arm of your chair if you have the arm on your chair. So if you did maintain that game with me, I still need your weight. Um, we're going to draw a prize on Friday. So please send me your weight if you want to be in, in, the, in the drawing. Four more. Three. Easy for me to say, right? Two. Last one. Pulse it right here. Pulse it. Four. Three. Two. Wow, last one. Good. All right, take that strap off. Give it a shake. If you were like me and you were outside earlier, sorry, um, you might have grass on your shoes. So let's bring it up and around. Make sure the other one doesn't fall. All right, so that ball out of the way. Let's straighten my chair. Here we go. All right, so we're going to lift, open, bring it in, bring it down. Make sure there's tension in that strap. Tension in that strap. Lift, open. In and down, lift, open, in, down, lift, 
open. Ready to do just the jacks, the opens? Open. Keep some tension on that strap. Feel the muscle working in that arm. Good. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. Now bring it all the way down. Release the strap just a little bit. Let's take the ball. We're going to put it right behind your back. Good. Here we are working more of those tummy muscles. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Here we are. So feet are solidly on the floor. They're going to help you a little bit. So we're going to just start easy. Let's just hold the strap silence and push the belly back and release it. Now, I want you to think about tightening the muscles all the way on the inside as well as the outside. So we're using the ab muscles here that you can see if you took your shirt off, right? But then we're also tightening the muscles on the inside, the bladder muscles, the muscles that we use to start and stop the flow of things if you get it, what I'm saying. If you don't understand what I'm saying, call Whitney. She'll give you a better description. Go ahead, squeeze. Release, don't call Whitney, she's so busy right now. All right, now let's add a pull. Call me and I'll tell you in person. Or tell you one-on-one. -on -one. Good, squeeze. I guess I gotta, gotta grow up sometime, right? I gotta be able to say those words. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. Good, work those tummies, work. All those muscles, squeeze, release, squeeze. Are your elbows parallel with the floor? Good, and they should be parallel with each other too. Four more, three, two, last one. Good, for those of you that can, I want you to pull up, push back, pull up, push back. I'm still pushing into that ball. Every time the arms come up, I'm pushing that ball. I'm trying to pop it, squeeze it back there. Squeeze it back there. Squeeze. 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 Four more. Three. Two. Oh, those arms, right? Last one. Good. All right, let's just do some isolations. Push back, hold right here. Tighten all those muscles inside and out. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Now pulse it. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Hold it. Just a little pulse back. Keep all those muscles, keep them tight, keep them tight. Hold them up, hold them tight. Good, inside, outside, they're getting tired, I know it. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, now let's work those oblique muscles. So we're gonna bring those arms out wide, we're gonna rock. Now if the lift of the foot isn't for you, if that hurts your back, don't lift the foot. Otherwise we're rocking. Good, rock it, lift it. Now let's everybody plant their feet. Everybody plant their feet, bigger rock. See how far you can go without falling off your chair and without hitting the arm in your chair. Work in those middles. Keep yourself nice and tall. You're inside a, a toaster. You can't go forward. You gotta stay right in the middle or you'll burn yourself. Oh, you got it. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. Who wants to give those arms a break? I do. All right. Good job. Let's take that ball. Good. Bring it out. Good. Let's open those arms up. Big stretch. Good. All right. So we're going to keep working those tummies. Take the strap away. Keep your ball. Come forward. We're going to put those feet on the floor. So options here could be a reach with the ball. For those of you that have better mobility, we could be here with the ball right on your head, coming forward. So you choose. We could be a reach. Could be the ball on the head. You decide. Good. Keep those elbows open. So if you have your head or your ball on your head, I want your elbows open the best that you can. So you modify for you. Add that reach. Maybe you want to do a reach and then a couple with it on your head. You can alternate. Working those lower backs here. 
The lower back is an important part of your core. Keep your hips, shoulders, and ears in line, so don't curl at the tummy. So keep the chest forward. Elbows are open. Good. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. Good. All right, let's bring it all the way in. Ah, sit up nice and tall. Let's roll those shoulders back. You know what, we haven't worked that hamstring, so um, let's go ahead and I know that we do a lot of the same exercises for hamstrings, but there's not a lot that we could do in this um, setup. So let's take the ball, we're gonna put it half on the chair, the calf is on the ball, we're sitting up nice and tall. I want you to squeeze the ball, keep it squeezed. We're gonna lift, push down, lift, push down, lift, push down. So it's almost like I'm trying to take the ball and pick it up off the chair by squeezing it, lift. Push down, lift. Let's do something on the other side. See if that makes it different. Good. If that reach up isn't for you, remember, reach out. Good. I find this makes me tighten my tummy more. Four more. Three, two, last one. Good, now right here, pulse it. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Now I'm using my leg here in the front. I'm taking my calf and bouncing it off the front of the ball, essentially. Foot is flexed, that's gonna protect my knee. Four, three, two. Last one, let's slow it down, open. Close, squeeze, open. Close, squeeze, open. Close, open. Close, open. Close. Good. Four more, three, two, and last one. Good, all right, let's do that other side. Good, I felt that today. All right, so flex your foot, and we're gonna squeeze the ball. Keep it squeezed, and I want you to push down, and like you're lifting to try to lift that ball up off the chair. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Good, you got it. Can do it. Oh, let's add that arm. Add that arm. Good. See if that makes it a little bit harder. It makes me lift my leg a little bit more for sure. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Now pulse it right here. Pulse it. Keep your foot flexed. And I'm actually taking my calf and I'm kind of bouncing against. Bouncing it against the ball. Good. Four, three, two, last one. Squeeze and hold and let it go. Nice and slow. So open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Four more, three, two, and last one. Good, all right. So we have one minute. Let's scoot back in that chair, lift those legs right here. Thighs are nice and tight. We tap down, one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, out. One, two, three, lift. Squeeze those legs. Squeeze them. Squeeze. 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 All right. One more. Last one right here. Just eight leg squeezes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Last one right here. Pulse it in. Work those inner thighs. Turn your heels a little bit. That's going to isolate that inner thigh even more. Good. Heels are towards each other. Four. 
four, three, two, last one, good point and flex. Oh, you thought we were done? Uh, good. We are gonna get so strong, all these little extra things that we do, right? Point and flex. So far, by the way, everybody that's called me on the maintain that game has, if they haven't maintained, they've lost a little something, which is awesome. Let's do four, three, two, last one. I think I had one person lose like four or five pounds. Maybe it was even more than that. It might have been six pounds or more. All right, so let's bring both feet out. We're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to anchor on the chair. We're going to either hold, hold the chair with our arms um, or we're going to hold the base of the chair, either one. So both feet are forward. We're going to come forward and leading with the chest. And then we're going to paddle the paddle boat. This morning would be a great time if we had a paddle boat to go out there. Not sure about that clay colored water or the snapping turtles so though. Not sure about that. I don't know, those turtles, they get after you, don't they? All right, now hold those toes up. Can you lean ooh, a little bit further forward? Big stretch there. All right, now let's come all the way up. Let's bring those feet to the floor. Bring those legs out wide. Good, let's come forward. You know, this is one of my favorites. So we're gonna push away with the elbows and we're gonna bring one shoulder towards the opposite knee and stretch. Oh, I could use a massage. That would be good. And bring it back to the center and do the other side. Speaking of massages, I'm pretty sure that y'all can start massages as well which is pretty cool. And bring it all the way in. Let's come all the way up. Walk it here. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's just turn and look behind. Now, not just your head. I want you to turn your torso. Good. This is good practice for when we're driving, right? So we have to turn and look and see what's coming. And bring it back. Soon some of us are driving a little bit more. Good. Just picking up our groceries, not going in if we can help it. Good. And always wearing our masks, right? All right, open it up. Here I am, mama, right? Giving you the lecture. All right, let's bring it forward right here. And inhale and open. And exhale, bring it in. And inhale and open. And exhale. And inhale. One last time, hold it here, hold it here. Oh, that feels good. Inhale, open, hold it here. Stretch it out, push it out. Oh yeah. Good, give yourself a hug and a pat. Good job today. Sitting up nice and tall, let's crunch your breakfast. Oh, curl right around it. Good. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. All right, let's inhale, open. Even if you eat pizza, it's a little something to start the day. Another hug right here, let's rock. Good, rock it side to side. All right. Oh, that feels good. I'm so glad you joined me today. All right, let's go ahead and scoot back. Um, I have the answers to my trivia. Scooting it all the way back. Let's lift those feet, point and flex. So yesterday's trivia was, what color flash bulbs did Dad use for color film in the 1950s? No one really gave me the answer, but the answer was blue. So the flash bulbs are blue, and I actually remember my dad having a camera like that. Um, today's trivia, what was the parking brake called when you were a kid? Was it called an emergency brake, a pull stop, or a breaker breaker? So what was the parking brake called when you were a kid? An emergency brake, a pull stop, or breaker breaker. I have to be honest, I don't know the answer to this one. I'm gonna have to look it up. So, all right. Here we go for jokes for today. A draftee goes for his physical wearing a truss and with a little convincing got his papers marked M-E for medically exempt. Then a friend borrows the truss and wears it for his physical. At the end of the examination, the doctor stamped M.E. on his paper. Doesn't that mean I'm medically exempt? Said the boy. No, answered the doctor. M.E. stands for Middle East. 
Anyone who can wear a truss upside down certainly des deserves a ride on a camel. <laughs> oh, I guess you better watch how you wear those things, right? Um, so birthdays today are John Lennon, Mike McDonald, and Linda Donnelly. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. 11 o'clock is um, chair yoga. We're going to work on balance for about 20 minutes and then do a real quick stretch and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks so much.